hello. Glad you come back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. Glad you made it here by some chance. I don't know how you got here, but thank you anyway. Uh, I wanted to share another tune today and, and just a few scriptures to go over where I got this little tune. It's pretty important uh, to me and I think it's uh, very important in the spirit world. I, I know that the spirit world is activated by voice. Uh, if you think about it, how did God create the worlds? How did he create? He spoke and he's given that authority to, authority to man, to his people, to speak good things and it brings good things. But you know, that you speak negative things and it can bring negative things too. And when you speak what God says, and I said, no, this is what God said and have faith in what he says and claim it with your voice. I'm not saying name it and claim it. I'm saying really having faith in God's word and his promises and you speak it. Sometimes you'll get backed in a corner over it or something, but you just keep believing and, and saying what God said and uh, makes you an overcomer. I used to sing with my sister who is deceased now, and uh, and her her husband. We had a trio, and I I got the privilege of naming it with their with their consent. I said I'd like to be called the Overcomers, and you know just making my statement that we are overcomers, and that reminds me of Revelations too. I've got some scriptures wrote down here. I'm going to go by. Uh, in Revelations 12, 11, of course, it says, And they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. That's most important. His death on Calvary and us applying it to our life. That, that's our salvation. And then he's given us another one. It says, And by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. And that's a powerful statement. So watch your words. I haven't always watched my words, and I've... And sometimes you can't get them back. They're like throwing feathers up in the air and the wind catches them. You can't collect them all back, you know. So, But there's always a start over point. You can start from here saying, I'm going to watch my mouth, what I say, how I say it, and we'll reap a benefit. And another, another scripture I wrote down here was Isaiah 48, 20. It says, go forth out of Babylon. Now, to me, Babylon is a type of, of the world, you know, where you live out in, in all the pleasures of this world. And it says, flee you from the Chaldeans. I think that's the, the taskmasters out there that uh, invite you and entice you and have things available to you. It says, with a voice of singing, declare ye. Now, or mark that word, underline it. It says, with a voice of singing, declare ye, comma, tell this, comma, utter it even to the end of the earth, comma, say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. When you're redeemed, of course, it says in, in Psalms 107 too, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And I have been redeemed. That blood bought me back, redeemed my soul back to God and, and reconciled me and he ransomed me and bought me back. I no longer belong to the enemy. I belong to my savior that gave his life and purchased me. Thank you, Jesus. And in Romans, it says, uh, no, I don't wanna read that one. I wanna read John 8. Uh, 824 it says he was I'm not going to read it all he said he was a murderer I'm talking about the devil he said uh, you are the father of the devil and then lust of the father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there was no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it uh that's why I, noticing some of this song, I've added that stuff in here. And this is to remind me and my declaration. And Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And when you speak God's worth, you're speaking truth. 
when you speak what the enemy sits on your shoulder and tells you, uh, you might be speaking a lie and repeating it. So I want to share this little song right quick. And I've got lots of traffic going around here. My sweet brother-in-law is here and mowing my lawn and doing for me. He's a, such a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. He's 90 years old and he outdoes me. <laughs> That's no joke. But I love him. I thank him for everything he does. Uh, I try to reward him with a meal every now and then. But I'll share my song right quick. Well, I'm not gonna let the devil walk all over me. I'm not gonna let the devil get the best of me. I'm gonna serve the Lord with all my vitality. I'm not gonna let the devil have his way. I'll declare, utter, tell, and say the word of God. And like the Lord, the devil's words are full of fraud. I'll sing and shout and praise and claim the victory. For Jesus did it all on Calvary. So don't you let the devil walk all over you. Apply the royal law in everything you do. Returning good for evil drives the devil mad. You'll love to see him squirm and you'll be glad. So seek the Holy Ghost with evidence of tongues. It is a power gift promised to everyone. Born again of spirit set you truly free. It's a revelation joy you will see. So I'm not going to let the devil walk all over me. I'm not going to let the devil get the best of me. I'm going to serve the Lord with all my vitality. I'm not going to let the devil have his way. I'll declare, utter, tell, and say the word of God. Unlike the Lord, the devil's words are full of fraud. I'll sing and shout and praise and claim the victory. For Jesus did it all on Calvary. Amen. He did it. He paid the whole price. He done it all by himself. He didn't need anybody helping. All we got to do, he offers us one thing, eternal life. Don't reject it. All you do is say, yes, I want that. Become a believer. I'm a to believer on this channel. I say I'm a believer because I do believe. And I, I want to stay that way. I want to stay strong and stay in God's word and grow in, my, grow in grace. And, and I believe we're supposed to do exploits and be strong and be courageous. And that's what he kept saying in lots of places. Have courage. Take courage. Trust in the Lord. Lean into Him. There's things that we've got to face and battles we have to face. That's going to take some courage. And sometimes it's not a stranger down the street or a neighbor. Sometimes your battle may be confronting somebody you love dearly or something. You know, you just don't know. But be courage and have courage and, and just try to obey the Lord. And we do everything with love. That's why we do things. We we love people. Jesus commanded us. That's one of the greatest commanded to love him and love others. So uh, we got this. God has, God has provided all we need. He gave his blood. He's poured out his spirit on the day of Pentecost. We were renewed in the spirit. We can get baptized, cut a covenant with him in that watery grave. It's a marvelous thing. If you could just get people to sit down and say, look and see what God has done. They say, I want part of that. And if they could see in the spirit the things that's coming, they wouldn't want to grab a hold of Jesus' hand and say, I want to be ready. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you for watching this little video and listening to my voice or my uh, song. And my voice is breaking up all the time. I'm not trying to cut a record or sell a record or anything. I'm just trying to share... Uh, where I got these little songs and why they're precious to me and while I keep singing them. Uh, thanks for watching again. Give me a thumbs up if you would, please. Push the subscribe button or the, the little bell. And 
come back and have, watch me again. I'm Lord willing. I always say Lord willing because I don't know. It's it's in God's hands. I plan on. We don't know what will be on tomorrow, but I plan on sharing some more little videos and uh, some more tunes. Some more tunes that I got that, and how I got them and how I use them. There's many, many times I have to use them. Thank you for watching. The Lord bless you and you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.